Welcome back to the project. Now we all remember the recent horrors of major earthquakes in Japan and New Zealand, but today an internationally re renowned geologist has warned that at some time in the future, humanity will experience an earthquake that will outdo them all. It was after lunch on March the 11th last year that one of the most powerful earthquakes ever measured shook Japan to a standstill. The quake was so big it shifted the earth on its axis and permanently shortened the length of a day. The tsunami that followed killed almost 20,000 people, caused a nuclear catastrophe and left over a million homeless. Today, a disturbing prediction from renowned geologist Ian Stewart has warned that it's only a matter of time before a massive quake strikes a major city and claims a death toll unprecedented in all of human history. He is absolutely right. Many cities are preparing for that kind of disaster now. Tokyo is one of those cities. They're preparing for a disaster where they might lose as many as 300,000 people, even with their best preparation. Each year around the world, there are around 15,000 magnitude 4 and above earthquakes. 81% of these occur along the infamous Pacific Rim, but they can actually strike anywhere. It takes a disaster to get people to think about what to do next, and we haven't had one severe enough yet to make us do that. But it's not just earthquakes. Ian also questions our dogged commitment to living in danger zones, hugging the coastlines and rebuilding after bushfires. He likens it to a fatal attraction. So why are humans so addicted to living in dangerous places? And why do we choose so often to ignore the warnings from scientists that could save lives? 